every day we're subjected to millions of images, but what do they really look like inside our brains? Now, scientists in the States say this is proof of a major breakthrough. The footage on the left is taken from several Hollywood films, and next to it, a blend of images from an online video library that best match the blood flow activity inside the brain, monitored in this case by MRI scanners. And you can clearly see the resemblance. The experts responsible claim they've created a system that could even be used to explore the minds of stroke or coma patients. That's good news for people like Sarah. She had a stroke two years ago at just 18 years old. She still suffers from aphasia, so she struggles with speech and writing. But any communication was a real problem for her after it happened. If you can't speak, then you can't talk. You know, if you're sad or upset or, or just, I, I want a water or anything. And pointing to charts was difficult because Sarah was paralysed, so she couldn't even point to a picture of what she wanted. Mm. So that would have been brilliant, really. But some scientists say we should still be cautious. The very notion of mind reading is very, very far away from now. It's decades or even centuries. What we will be able to do in the short term is provide little devices to facilitate sensory processing for people whose processing has been impaired, for example, due to brain uh, lesions. Decoding what's really going on in our brains could still be decades away, but imagine a world where dreams could be translated, memories reproduced, or where even reading your mind could be possible. Harriet Prest, Sky News.